Dana had come out a number of weeks ago, maybe maybe even up, uh, up to a month, and he was just asked about the progress of boxing. You know, he started that dialogue, he was going to get into boxing, and he said, I'm not going to look into it until X amount of time, but uh, get back to me, and we're real serious about it. And then he was holding meetings, and we saw, you know, a picture with him and Eddie Hearn were meeting, and he was going around to different gyms and looking at different talent, seeing who he could sign. So he finally gives an update on that three, four weeks ago. He said, man, I've, I've been studying this thing. I've been studying their contracts, looking at where guys are tied up, looking at some of their distribution. I don't even know this sport can be fixed. I do not know that there is any room for somebody to come in and infiltrate some of these long-term contracts and correct them and fix and bring this sport over, which sounded as though it was at least the beginning, if not the end, of closing the book on that. And one of the things that I was so happy is because when that talk started, there's different eras we have to live through. Remember the money fight era? Easily the most annoying era. Who do you want to fight? They would never say in a put, I want the money fight. Remember when that was happening? And it was so frustrating because all of these guys had contracts. There was no such thing as the money fight. You have a contract. It already says what you're going to make. It's just an annoying thing to say. And as soon as one or two people said it, every, remember that era? So then we, we parlay that and we go into the what MMA fighter would do best in boxing, what MMA fighter is going to go over to boxing. And every, every MMA fighter wanted to keep on raising their hand and say they want to go to boxing, not understanding that you're now limiting your skills. Like, that's not a cool thing. One guy did it and made it cool, which was Conor McGregor. When he took on Mayweather, if Conor goes over to boxing and he doesn't have Floyd, that whole thing doesn't happen. But because Conor did it and it was a big deal, it seemed as though this is going to be a cool thing. So everybody kept raising their hand. I, I could do great in boxing. And they all had this misconception that there's some kind of big money in boxing, of which there's not. That is not true. There is big money for the main draw in boxing. A main draw boxing fight will happen in a good year two times. Two times in a good year. Up until Tyson Fury, those only good years for the last 10 were experienced by one guy, and that was named Floyd Mayweather, and he fought twice a year. So the idea that there's money in boxing is just simply a misconception. And when some of these guys and gals are saying that they want to go over, you're understanding that you're now taking your skills away, you're showing less skills, you're going to have less eyeballs, and you're going to make less money. Now, the smart play would have been I'm not going anywhere. This is my sport, and I will welcome any boxer in. What Randy Couture did with James Tony, it turned out to be a pretty easy evening with a nice big paycheck. That would have been the much smarter play. But fighters aren't known for being smart people, so you have to deal with this. So the mere fact that this book has largely been closed is so nice. So you don't have to watch some of these fighters go out and talk stupid. That's just not their sport. And it's a sport that shows less dynamics, less skills. You're not going the other way. You're not showing more courage. And if you don't have a Floyd Mayweather across from you, then who do you stand across from? There's only one other guy worth a damn in boxing right now. His name is Tyson Fury. So if you're a 155-pounder that has no chance of being there with Tyson Fury, look, if you're Steve Miocic and Tyson Fury's calling you out and you want to answer the call, we're having a totally different conversation. I'm giving this to you in a broad stroke, a 99%. A yes, there is 1%. Absolutely. But for just random guys to come out and say, I'm going to go over to boxing, I'm going to do, do a whole bunch of fights. Okay, great. Where? When? With who? Because if you think that we, as your MMA fans, are just going to come on this journey with you, you're going to have to give us some information. I mean, they got Tuesday night fights. They got Monday night fights. They got Thursday night. But where? When? How? Stop. Just stop. Whatever false perceptions you have or whatever dirty boxing guy came and sat down with you and made you some false claims without sliding a piece of paper in front of you, Whoever did that, you got misled. If you're an MMA guy, congratulations. If you're a big MMA guy, double congratulations. If you think that the boxing world gives a damn or that we are going to come on this weird journey with you, see you later.